Hi all, this is Six Shots here. Now, I'm going to do a video on something that's not really exactly covered widely. This type of blaster. Now, this type of blaster called Drum Type of Blaster. It's something few would use. Well, because maybe it's rarely used, or maybe it's a personal preference, or maybe it's you know not commonly uh, being seen in the playing field. But one thing about it is, you can reload it in a real hurry. Like for example, you're in a busy shooting match with the other player, your blaster happen to run out of darts like these, you can run to a secure corner, make sure that nobody is following you or bothering you, run to a secure corner, take out for your belt, put it in the position that you know that you're able to charge it and the next position and can pop in the nick of time but the other player comes for you another thing about it is that uh, you can put a lot of darts if I'm not wrong this is about 40 shots about 40 shots it's quite a lot like most magazines uh, for nerve blasters or clips as another way to call them you have maybe 12 18 or 22 yes they have a high capacity fairly but the thing is that this is an example okay so this is a 10 shot magazine so switch but the problem is sometimes not the problem but sometimes your restriction or maybe your belt depending how situation uh, applies you can carry maybe a fixed amount maybe six to eight of them so assuming if you can carry about a fair bit, maybe eight of them. But what happens if you pro get prolonged into a... No, not prolonged. I get into a really, real iffy episode with the other player, the opposing side player, and you worry that, you know, when this thing goes out, that's it. You can't reload fast enough. You have to go to one corner and go clack, 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 clack. That is the time when the other player comes over and... Clack, you're in. Whereas... Compared to these types, like this, you can still, you can go pop, 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 pop. And at the same time, if you are deft enough, take off your belt, put a few more darts on the fly. That's something you can think about. Of course, if you happen to have a 3D printer or some friend that you can scavenge his stuff from, you can do this. Maybe make a conjure one or somehow in one way or another acquire one of these separate drums. Fill it up, put it back again. Cool, huh? And that carries to a next one. Now, this one, the Magnum X2. This. Look at this blaster. This is uh, another type. Or blaster, same idea as the previous one. What, what they call uh, the Turbo Advance, the Magnum X2. Same idea. Same thing. Twenty shot, fairly a lot. So you can you can see, you can just rotate and rotate and rotate, keep rotating until to the place that you know that the dart's gonna go off and pop off it goes. Also, this one same thing. You can also release the magazine. In some cases, like retail shops, they do have purchase with purchase. Get another one, it helps. Put back and carry on. Cool, huh? Okay, another thing that uh, I can suggest is tie a, what I call a nylon rope some people call it paracord, maybe a used shoelace, so that you can carry it easy. Observe. Hmm, okay, found the item. So you get one of these, uh, maybe a old school bag strap, clip it, go around the shoulder, so it's easy for you to 
move around without accidentally dropping it or maybe uh, tripping it if you're holding your hands and somehow you bungle and drop it and trip it on yourself. It happens. Accident happens all the time. Remember, safety first. Don't think of winning too much. So yeah, see, this is one example. Or another way, cable tie. Can get it any hardware shop. Same thing. Same thing. This time, I use a cable tie. Clip it. There you have it. Alright, that'll be all. This is Sick Shop, signing off. Bye-bye.